today's video i'm going to be doing a little side comparison between the uh hannah solidity tester and my instant ocean hydrometer i've been having this hydrometer for the past like 10 years back when i wanted to start off salt water tanks they didn't work out so i just hopped into fresh water and um i just had this on the side so now that i have my uh salt water tank i started using it and i really like it a lot i usually like shooting for 1.025 or 1.026 that's my ideal um salinity but uh, a lot of people say that hydrometers are off by a point or two. So give or take, it could be, instead of 1.025, it could be 1.026 or 0.27, 0 0.27 I mean, or it could be less, it could be 0 0.23 or 0 0.22. So um, I wanted to just um, be a little more um, accurate with the reading. And then I saw this for Black Friday on Marine Depot on special, and I decided to get it. It's really nice, because I like the size of it. It's, it's compact, it's sleek. And then the cool thing is that it tells you the salinity and as well as the temperature. So that's pretty unique. So we're gonna do a little side-to-side -side comparison to see how accurate both of these are or how close they are to one another. Because I mean, it's a huge uh, price difference. So uh, maybe you can stick with this one for a little longer or uh, you can hop into this one and be a little more uh, updated if you would. We're gonna see if this old school hydrometer is still good enough for the new high-tech HANA salinity tester. So the HANA uh, Selenium Tester comes with four of the HANA calibration uh, packets. I already used one, I'm gonna show you right now how it works, how easy it is. And then it comes with this pretty cool case. I like putting it in here just so it doesn't break or anything like that. So it's pretty dope. So here's the Selenium Tester, let me give you guys a closer look of it. The only button that it has is this blue button right here. The left side is the on and off switch, the right is the calibration button. The bottom, if you remove the cap, it's going to show the needle for the temperature and then to check the salinity on the right. Let's go ahead and turn it on now. The first thing you should see on the screen is the percentage of the battery, which is 100%. Top is going to be salinity levels and then the bottom is going to be the temperature. So 85.6, I've been grabbing it so it's a little hot. Uh, once you receive it, it's going to show Celsius, not Fahrenheit. If you want to switch that to Fahrenheit, how I have it, all you have to do is remove the back plate for the battery. So I'm going to use my lucky coin. So once you remove it, there's a little black button on that corner right there that you're going to have to press. So right now, it's still saying the same thing, right? I'm going to use one of these picks that I get from my cell phone. And then, once you click on it, it's going to show Unit SG. So I have it as SG because that's a specific gravity. And that's basically what I've been using on my uh, Instant Ocean. It says right there, specific gravity. And I think that's the standard for most people here in the U.S., for my understanding. Uh, if you want to switch it, the right is to switch through the options, the calibration button. So you can switch it to PPT, which I believe stands for parts per thousand. And then you can also switch it to PSU, which stands for the practical uh, salinity unit, whichever you're more comfortable with. For me, it's SG, the specific gravity, because like I said, it's the same exact thing as here. So it's gonna show you like 0 0.025, 0 0.026 and stuff like that. So to select it, you gotta press the power button. And then it's going to show you the set to Fahrenheit or Celsius. So you just choose whatever you want. And then the uh, off button option for the auto off. So you can choose between 8, 60 or nothing. So I have it for 8 minutes and then you press power and then you're all set. So the next thing you have to do is uh, calibrate it as soon as you get it. So let me show you guys right now how I did that. So the first thing you want to do when uh, you receive your salinity tester after putting all the settings to your like. Uh, you want to rinse it out with some uh, rod water so i have this zero water container just rinse it off make sure that it's dry and then you want to use your packet for calibration all you do is open it up and then just put it in some type of glass or container because it might overflow and then um, turn on the um, salinity tester and select the calibration button just say 3500 or 35.00 and then just stick it in there and just wait uh, a little bit until it says that it's ready it's pretty quick so it's not going to take that long so they recommend for you to um, calibrate it once a month if you're using it regularly if not then use your best judgment and then you can go a little longer without calibrating it 
but try to do it at least once or every two months if you're kind of doing it uh, a couple times a week. So we're going to start with the hydrometer. I already rinsed it with some of the tank water two or three times. I don't go with the first rinse that it gives me. And um, now we're going to wait. I'm going to set it over there and just wait it out. So it says 1.026. And it's right on the dot on 1.026. So now let's go ahead and try the uh, with the HANA selenium tester. All you gotta do is just press the on button and just put it in your water and that's it. So now we have to wait and right now it's saying 1.026 and 78.8 degrees. Oh, 0.9 degrees. So it's 78.9 degrees. Wow, so I guess I, I could trust the hydrometer more than I, than I thought. It's showing the same exact um, measurements. So as you can see, it's pretty nice. I was shocked that the uh, hydrometer was exactly the same as this. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe, like, comment. This is a really nice uh, little gadget by Hanna um, Instruments. I'm starting to get a lot more. I have a couple things by them and I'm really really like happy with them It's a little more expensive, but in my opinion, it's totally worth it. Subscribe like comment. Let me know what's up Follow me on Instagram. Stay tuned for more videos. Peace. I need to know everything who in the what and the where I need everything Trust me. I hear what you're saying, but I like it's new what you're telling me I'm curious George. I happen